Hey guys, so it's currently 5.45 in the morning and I cannot sleep. So I am going to inform you of some creepiness that's been happening to me in my life. Um, I was the victim of a demon. You heard me right, an actual demon. And I will show you proof that I was the victim of the demon. And I'm lucky that this is all he did to me. Um, see that? That's my last paycheck from my job that I had to leave because of stress. That is my last paycheck. And it is burned up to a crisp. Well, not a crisp. You can still see. But it's burned up pretty badly. And it was stuck to my table. And, um... I do like candles. I, I like to light them, but I would not have that. That would not have been something that I could possibly even do. Um, I think I'd have to know that I am burning it to the table. So um, there's that, um, and I I I would have to somehow get it stuck to the table. There's that too. So, anyways, you. You guys don't want to hear about that. You want to hear about the good stuff. How did I meet this demon, you ask? Well, um, I was part of a creepy pasta roleplay group chat. This was the second one I had to leave because of drama. But would I join a creepy pasta roleplay group chat again? Yes, definitely. Absolutely. Because it is totally fun. I just have to be careful. So. Um, this demon played the role of Jeff, which is my favorite character from Creepypasta, my favorite proxy ever. And, um, we had a conversation, our first conversation. I got this really creepy yet comforting sensation throughout my body when I was talking to him. And it felt kind of good. But I didn't message him too often because I know you have to be careful with demons. And I knew that this was an actual demon. I just knew because of that feeling. So, now, how did I get into this situation, you ask? Well, um, I got on the bad side of his quote-unquote sister. I use the quotation marks because they are not blood-related. They just feel like they're siblings. Like maybe you have a friend who is like a sister or a brother to you, but they're not. I know I have a, have a, have a friend that I consider a brother. So anyways, I got on the bad side of his quote-unquote sister. Um, and uh, he was not happy about that. Um... So he went after my paycheck. Um, I knew he wasn't happy about that because um, my uh, quote unquote friend, I say quote unquote because we, we well, we've, we've had situations, but he told me that um, this demon wants to kill me. Um, so that is, um, how it happened. This, uh, my, my friend said this demon wants to kill me because of uh, my fight with his quote-unquote sister. Um, now, as far as how I am with this demon right now, we are on good terms. Um, I apologize to his sister and um, I apologized to him. Um, no, I did not apologize out of fear. I apologized out of love because um, I wanted to be on good terms with um, his, his sister because, you know, she was a decent person. I did some not so decent things to her. And, um, yeah, um, I should not have messed with her in the beginning. Like, it was just kind of wrong of me. 
Um, it's not right to mess with people, no matter how good it feels. Um, and I, in a way, I kind of felt bad, even though that she was one of the people who cyberbullied me. Um, with, um, who, who was in the chat, group chat that cyberbullied me. Uh, it was her, the demon, um, this guy who claimed to be in love with me. And it was also um, this girl that I considered to be like a twin to. Um, they all band together and um, cyberbullied me. But um, that's for um, another video. I'm, I'm not planning on making video for that actually at all because um, I don't think you guys would be very happy about it. So, um, I'm going to leave you on that note. Um, just a warning. If you're joining the Creepy Pasta fan group or any other creepy, like, fandom, be careful. Be very, very careful because you are dealing with a portal to the, to the, to the dimension of darkness. Um, it is very dangerous. So just be very, very careful. Um, I know I've learned to be very careful. So as usual, stay positive. And um, why don't you click that bisexual poop emoji? It will direct you to my page. And then you can see if maybe I, you like my videos, maybe. You would like to watch them. You like the type of videos I do. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I can't go through your head. So... Um, you can check that out, um, if you would like, and, um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!